Well, we're very close here to the entrance to Chichester Harbour on the south coast of England, just east of the Solent. Um, round there, behind that building with the grey roof, is the entrance itself. And the tide whistles in and outside there. And further out, there is a bar, beyond which is the wide English Channel and the Isle of Wight. The building over there is Hailing Island Sailing Club, which uh, has spawned some of the greatest dinghy sailors this country's ever had. And behind us, over here, is Sparks Marina. Now, what I want to talk about is the pilotage for getting into a place like Sparks Marina. You look at the chart, uh, especially if it's not a tiny scale chart with everything on it, and you look at it and you think, well, that all dries out. It can't possibly get in there. You can only get in when there's tied up, and it's no use to me. I won't bother with that. But if you read the pilot book, it's surprising what there is. And looking out here now, you can see we're at the bottom of the tide and we've got a channel coming in that's perfectly well marked with great big stakes. There's a couple of transit markers over there I can see, big orange ones with an X top mark. You follow them in, come in round a buoy, come in up the channel and follow the posts round and it leads you into a marina which is dredged out of the sand and the mud here and it's perfectly sheltered. You'd not get better shelter than that, it's just amazing. But when you look at the chart, you wouldn't think there was anything there for you. And the answer to all this, and to so many other marinas, is to read the pilot book. Pilot books are really important. <laughs> I should know, I write one, the Shell Channel Pilot. I understand there are others, but of course that's the one for you. But the pilot book, has the guy who writes the pilot book has done all sorts of work and found out a lot of inside information that will help you to deal with all this. And when you're doing it for yourself, you come in, cross Chichester Bar, for example, if you're coming in here, round the corner, and you find yourself a cardinal boy. It's all in the pilot book, and then when you look really carefully on the chart, you see it. It tells you what to do with that, and you follow the instructions. But once you get into the channel, the likelihood is that you'll have that in your head and you'll be looking at a chart plotter, which will help you along as well. But it may not have all the details. So the important thing is to work with both. Have a really good paper chart, have a pilot book, and use a modern chart plotter as well if you've got one. And if you do that, really, it's pretty hard to come unstuck. And most boats are just going to go in and out as though there wasn't any tidal issue. It's an interesting place and great fun to come into, but uh, so many others at marinas are like that. And the important thing is to get hold of the information, make sure you've got it all, and then use it. It's a rare thing to find a marina like this on the south coast of England that's just sitting surrounded by the sea bottom basically when the tide goes away. Places like this are a lot thicker on the ground on the east coast up in Essex and Suffolk but here they're rare and so I'm really enjoying being here today and looking at this. I can see where the channels come in around the corner. I think um, yeah we've got a motorboat just coming out here off to sea and in another three hours the tide's just starting to make now in another three hours all this sedge and sand will be covered and there won't be much depth on it, so there'll still be good protection, but it'll be a lovely scene with, with, with water all around us, and on a blue sky day, it'll be a lovely sight. An unusual marina in a really special place. <laughs>